Hi, Joe Peprocki from Loyola Press for Pop-Up Catechesis. You know, I could just stare at this beauty all day. Our eyes are drawn to beauty, and when confronted with something or someone beautiful, we simply let our gaze fall upon it. Pretty sure that's what King David had in mind when he wrote in Psalm 27 that his greatest desire was to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of his life and to gaze on the beauty of the Lord. God's beauty, of course, is not physical, but is characterized by qualities such as mercy, compassion, forgiveness, justice, selflessness, steadfastness, and a myriad of other adjectives. As Catholics, one of the ways that we gaze upon God's beauty is through the practice of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, in which we sit, kneel, or stand before the Blessed Sacrament, the Eucharist, or the Body of Christ which is exposed or shown in a beautiful vessel called a monstrance. And as we meditate on the beauty of God, we are drawn to speak to God in the silence of our hearts, a conversation that, according to St. Ignatius of Loyola, should resemble one friend speaking to another. Introducing your children to the practice of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament is a great way to include some quiet in your children's busy and noisy lives. So check with your local parishes and see when adoration is offered and how long you can stay and keep your child from being too fidgety depends on their age and their attention span. A good rule of thumb is about one minute for each year of age. Now be sure to look at my blog www.catechistjourney.com for a downloadable Eucharistic Adoration Prayer Card that includes prompts for conversation with Jesus, such as tell Jesus what you are most excited about, thankful for, or sorry for, or ask Jesus for the help that you need in the days to come. Help your children to experience and encounter the beauty of God, not only in nature, but also through adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. For Pop-Up Catechesis, this is Joe Paprocki. Until next time, God bless.